guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today I have something fun planned. I'm going to share with you my favorite summer shoes. To give you a little bit of backstory, in the spring I bought a handful of different sandals to kind of, I guess, propel my summer style into something a little more different. Um, usually, so my go-to is usually Birkenstocks. I'm a Birkenstock girl through and through. They're so comfortable, they're great in the heat, they're great for walking. And um, in fact, two of these shoes I'm gonna show you are working socks. But I wanted to like take that foundation of comfort um, and add a little style to it. So I kind of did some digging around and found some sandals that are comfortable, but also a little more stylish, a little more fashion forward than um, my Birkenstocks. Not that there's anything wrong with those and I'm still wearing them all the time. But I wanted to um, make my style feel less redundant. I get dressed for me like I love having variety and I love having fun with my clothes but I don't like the feeling of not feeling creative and so anyway long story short bought a bunch of sandals I'm going to show you my favorites and um yeah I'm going to tell you like what what I like the pros and cons about them too so let's get started so these these are not new this year obviously I've worn them for a few years I got them maybe in 2017 2018 probably 2018 um, I love these and unfortunately this color was only available for one year. It's called natural and it's like a pinkish leather. Um, there are some, there are some out this year that are very similar though, so I can link to them. But I've just found that, um, with the white, the white, so mine are a little dirty, but the white sole and this color, it's just such a fun update on Birkin socks. It's such a great color. Um, I love the light color on my feet. And I wear these all the time. So these are my number ones. Um, I would say the pro is definitely that color. It's really unique. It's a unique color. Looks good. Makes you makes you look tan. Um, looks good with white, black, brown, like all the colors. The con, um, for as much as I love the white, I do have to like kind of clean it regularly. So I have one of those Magic Erase Mr. Clean sponge thingies and um, I just kind of take it and go along there like maybe like once a season I might I might do it twice a season though because it's looking a little dirty so yeah so anyway so that's these in a nutshell my next pair is also Birkenstocks these guys more white sold Birkenstocks these I saw on my friend Brianna from the constant closet and um, I just thought wow those are so cool I love when shoes or clothes or anything is really cool and interesting but still highly functional. That to me feels like the holy grail of um, shoes and clothing. So these, these are definitely, I felt like it. So I bought them at the early, early, um, early in the spring. And they're, so they're like a black suede and I love that the buckles are black. I have an older pair of Birkenstocks and the buckles are silver and so I just, I love the black on black. And the suede is soft. I would say the um, Papilio footbed to me feels slightly less comfortable than the original footbed but again I don't have a full season of wearing them it's also lined like with I don't know if that's leather or what it is but it's not like the traditional suede on the regular Birkenstock footbeds so anyway so I'm really enjoying wearing these these are great to just throw on with like cutoffs and a shirt or any any basic outfit but it makes it feel like a little more fun and interesting and they're also fun with dresses because they're so like casual but the my con on these guys they got the white sole again um the sole is kind of bulky and I have like kind of tripped up <laughs> a little bit on the front of these a few times um I think I'm a toe dragger which sounds terrible but um anyway so so that like that they're like a little bit like stub your toe in them a little not your toe but like the toe and then you kind of trip and that's a little bit awkward. So I'd say that and um, they're also really wide, which is kind of cool if you're like going for that. So, but because they're so wide, I feel like I'm a little more limited on how I can wear them because it just is like a big shoe presence. So anyway, but that being said, um, I'm glad I bought them. They're, they're comfortable, they're fun, and I think they come in some other colors. So I'll link those in the description box. All right, moving on. So these, all right, I talked on Instagram about how I'm a, a late adopter to trends. I often hate trends. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I just love that. 
the dad sandal, like I wasn't into it and then all of a sudden I was. Uh, but I think for me, the difference on these shoes that that sold me is that they're by one of my favorite, favorite shoemakers, Frida Salvador. I, I love their shoes. I love, I'm a big fan of investing in high quality shoes if you can because they're usually almost always fully repairable. So that means you wear them through the winter or the summer and if things, things fall apart, seams come apart, soles wear down, you can almost always have them repaired. And I just love that. I love the idea of shoes that last forever. So these are the Piper Footbed Sandal by Frida Salvador, another expensive shoe company, but also another company that has pretty regular sales. So um, if you sign up for their newsletter, you can get 15% off. Um, like Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, they often have like 25% off. So it's just one of those ones to watch for if you want to save some money. Um, or check Poshmark too. I find, I see their stuff on Poshmark too. So these are, I love these. Um, I love these more than I expected to. I like them because they kind of are like a grounding shoe. They're kind of masculine, but they have like a sleeker, like a way sleeker profile than those Birkenstocks I just showed you. So they're a little bit more narrow, a little bit just more sleek. So um, the overall look is just so good with that combination of that sort of masculine, all the buckles, but, but the silhouette is not like large and in charge. And again, I'm a girl with big feet, so um, I like that in a shoe when it doesn't make my feet look too big. So anyway, and of course they're really comfortable. Um, cons on these. <laughs> so these ones are, are, are fairly new to me. They have a nice leather footbed. Um, sometimes my foot makes like a sticking sound, like it's sticking to the shoe, but I do notice like the longer I wear them during the day, the less it does that. But it's just kind of a funny thing at first. Um, but yeah, these are really nice. They are like leather on the other side, leather on this side. Um, just really nice finishes, nice buckles. Just, I love the, the like croc print. It's all so nice here. I'll give you a little close up of these because they deserve it. So yes, these look great with everything. All right, number four, big, chunky flip-flops. I almost did like a video just about these. But again, this is another shoe that like I like, but I also feel like a little bit mixed on. So um, I've seen all my, again, going back to my favorite British bloggers that I love to follow. I love to follow these gals who are like, have minimalist style and, but it's just so chic and so inspiring. They, I, I've seen so many times over and over the sandal called the Ginza sandal by the row and they're like a black chunky um, leather flip-flop. I think that I think that's where the chunky flip-flop trend originated, um, the resurgence of it anyway. Because if you're like me and you're born in the early 80s, you probably wore flip-flops, chunky flip-flops in high school. I did for sure. Anyway, I digress. So back to these. These remind me of the Row sandals, which I love, they're beautiful, but they're like $900. So it would definitely not be spending that on a pair of flip flops. So these are by Tony Bianco. I found them, they are, I think an Australian brand. I found them online. Um, they kind of have this like faux suede outline. This is real leather. Um, and I've worn them a lot. They, I was at first, like they felt really stiff to break in. Like I felt like I was walking on snowshoes. Like they were just so, but they've kind of like started to curve a little bit and um, they just, they feel better after like a few more wars, but they were stiff and uncomfortable at first. But, um, but I like them. I feel like they're, I don't know if I'm always pulling it off. <laughs> the whole like minimalist, you know, with the big chunky sandals look, I've definitely tried. Um, Oh, another pair that these remind me of, um, Dear Francis makes a pair of like minimalist flip-flops. I actually ordered them and got them and they, they were just too large and in charge for me. They had like a three quarter inch like ring all around my foot, just making my foot look really big. big. I couldn't do it. So these kind of do the same, but the raised platform like offsets the bigness or at least adds some balance to it, I think. But these, these are still pretty darn, they're pretty darn wide and chunky. So I have to be feeling bold if I want to wear them to wherever, you know, they kind of like, they kind of make an impact. 
So yeah, so they're white, but I do really like the, the squared off. So yeah, so I guess the pros and cons on these are the, the con I would say is like, they're super wide and chunky. And so you have to feel like confident in your foot and then like your style and your outfit that you're pulling that off. I have found that um, these are harder to wear with shorts than I expected. I thought that they would be easy, but it's almost like they're like too casual. Like I need to wear them with like a nicer pair of shorts and a nicer shirt. They look great with skirts. They look really good, really good with like wide leg pants, like super good. So anyway, so that is number no, this is, yeah, this is number four. All right, next. More sandals. Oh, yeah, I was really into the flip-flops. These are from a brand called Aloha's, or Aloha's, or as we say in Oregon, Aloha, which is a city here. Anyway, um, so I, in my mind, I keep thinking this was Aloha's, but it's probably Aloha's. Anyway, these are made in Spain. These are the kind of, this company is like a um, company where you order like way ahead of time like so like before production and you get it a big discount and then eventually a couple months later they go into production so I think I ordered these before my black ones but it was like a two month wait and I got impatient and I bought the black ones and these ones just came a couple days ago so um I was I was re I'm really impressed with the color like I it said like overcast ivory I had no idea it'd be such a pretty color. I thought it'd just be white, but I, I love, I love cream with all my heart. So these are just so pretty, but I've only worn them a couple times. So I don't have like a lot to say about them yet, but I definitely noticed they've got the same big flat um, snowshoe feel as the other ones. So I kind of took them and bent them a little bit. Like I was trying to just give them a little more movement so they could move with my foot. Um, one of a couple cons I've already I'm already thinking about with these though. Well, I love love the color, love the color. So that's probably gonna get dirty and that's gonna drive me crazy. And this leather strap is not lined, um, and it doesn't have stitching on it. So sometimes leather like this stretches out. So I'm a little nervous as to how that's gonna go. Hopefully it won't stretch out too much. That's why I started to bend the footbed because I didn't want the the top to stretch out. Anyway, these look really good on. I think they are much more flattering on the foot than the Tony Bianco ones, which are so chunky. These ones have like a little platform, but they're, and they still have that like kind of cute squared off toe, but they're not as wide around here. They're just like a little more sleek, a little more like closer to the line of the foot. And I just think it looks better. So I think these will probably by the end of the summer, I'll probably wear these more than the black ones. So anyway. So there's that, and I have one more shoe that I have to dive off camera, grab for you. These guys, so these are the Bay Sandal by Sam Edelman. Um, so these are another uh, luxury dupe. I don't usually shop or buy a luxury, but I'm forever inspired by luxury brands because luxury brands are the ones that often um, are at the top of the fashion food chain. They're the ones often that inspire trends that um, that create something that has this trickle down effect to everyone. And that is just kind of amazing to me. Um, if you remember from the Devil Wears Prada, Meryl Streep has this monologue that's all about, um, how Andy got her cerulean blue sweater. And Andy doesn't think that it's important, but there's a whole story behind how, and a whole chain of events behind how it got to, down to her. So I think that's fascinating. But anyway, so these are basically a dupe off um, an Hermes sandal. I don't know the name of it, but um, it's a beautiful sandal, another beautiful, really expensive sandal that I'll probably never buy because I just can't see spending that much money on sandals. But it's like a classic shoe that looks beautiful on the foot and looks beautiful with everything you wear it with and you could probably wear it for years. Um, this is the $100 version that is a dupe. It's semi-similar, but also different enough that it's not like a total copy, but in the same way the other one looks good, I love the way this one looks on my foot. I think it looks so pretty. Every time I put it on, I'm like, oh, this looks nice. <laughs> um, looks great with shorts, cutoffs, um, dresses, anything. It's just a very like sleek and um, flattering shoe. It's flattering to the foot. I have um, wide feet, like not like super wide, but like a little bit wide, and these look great on me. Oftentimes slides will be too hard for me to like stick my feet into or it looks like my feet are spilling over or just isn't a good look. These look good every time I wear them. And so, um, 
Yeah, I love that they're, I love the cutouts because they're just breezy so you can wear them even on like the hottest days. And um, yeah, they're comfortable. I mean, they're not like super lined, but there's a little bit of cushion and I find them like great for wearing. They've got like a rubberized bottom so they're not slippery. And so, um, and yeah, I think these retail for about $100, which, you know, it's still kind of a lot for sandals, but pretty good deal if you wear them a lot. So, um, also I think these come in like a ton of colors, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but my con for these guys is the contrast stitching. So that is like not my favorite. I don't like super love the contrast stitching. I'm not sure if you can see that there. Um, but I never find myself noticing it or thinking about it when I'm wearing it. Like it just looks like, like a nice shoe, a nice tan shoe. So yeah, I totally recommend these. I think they're great like... They take an outfit like cutoffs and a top and they make it look like a little more sophisticated or chic and I love that. And they're just so easy to wear. And they're easy to pack. Look how small these guys are. So that concludes my big long monologue on sandals. I'm so happy with the ones that I have bought. Uh, they've, I feel like are making my outfits more fun and I'm enjoying the different ways I can style them with different things. Um, if you have any questions about any of them, go ahead and meet me in the comments and also I'll link them all below in the description box. Um, and as always, if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up or subscribe. So thank you so much for watching.